Charlton name the same side that beat Everton here, so it's a big day for Jerome Thomas, who left Arsenal last summer. Francis Jeffers, however, is unable to face his former club. He's had an operation on an ingrowing toenail. His fellow striker Kevin Lisby has also been sidelined of late, so Sean Bartlett continues as the lone man up front. Danny Murphy's on four yellow cards, another today, and he would miss the FA Cup tie with Rochdale. Well, Arsenal make three changes from the side that won at Newcastle. Two are forced. Loren has a knee injury and Matthew Flamini a thigh problem. Robert Pires, meanwhile, is rested to the bench. In come Justin Hoyt at right back and Cesc Fabregas and Gael Clichy in midfield. There's another start for Dutchman Robin van Persie because Dennis Bergkamp and Jose Antonio Reyes are still injured. Thierry Henry has scored more Premiership goals against Charlton than any other team. London derbies stretching back over three years since Charlton beat them at Highbury 4-2 maybe today is the day for Charlton to win again but it's going to be a big ask against the champions who know they have to keep up and catch up Chelsea it's Matt Holland looking to make an early impression and it's Romadal and Almunia got down well but a lively start from Charlton it certainly was a very decent save as well. But when he made sure it wasn't going to come back off his body. Could be one for the goalkeeper this early in the match. Well, here goes Charlton again. Romadal's clearly in the mood. It's flashed wide, but Charlton certainly signalling their intent in the opening stages. Yeah, he didn't really get a hold of it. This is the earlier one here. Lovely spin there from Romadal. Ashley Cole couldn't quite get across to make the challenge. But it's a very decent save early in the match from Almunia. And Romadal just didn't get a hold of that. Trying to get his foot rounded as he come in from the right-hand side, but drifting away from goal. I'm sure we've yet to see the best of Dennis Romadal in a Charlton shirt. And he is capable of so much. The speedy Dane. A chance for Arsenal to settle down a bit. After that uh, bright and busy start from Charlton. Here's Vieira. His deflected winner gave Arsenal a 1 0 win at Newcastle on Wednesday. Now Fabregas. Vieira nearby. Here's Cole, Henri, Van Persie, two men quickly upon him, Fortune and Kishishev. Cole, offside against Thierry Henry. Adam Kerbisley been in sole charge of Charlton now for almost a decade. He was joint boss with Steve Grimm for four years before that. And things have certainly changed at this club in that time. Quite considerably, quite magnificently. Here's Danny Murphy. Romadal looking to take over. Fortune deciding to go back to Dean Kiley. Charlton with the four wins in their last five games, a record that is matched by Arsenal. Two teams in form. Ryderson, who scored against Everton here. Charlton's last match. Same team for them again today, Charlton. As well. Justin Hoyt coming in at right back in the absence of the injured Loren who injured his knee at Newcastle. When the teams met at Highbury in October, Arsenal won 4 0. They scored three of their goals in a 22 minute burst in the second half. They were a bit like that. Clichy now, trying to find Cole. 
Van Persie skipping away from Kishishev and here's Freddy Ljungberg Henri Vieira Fabregas isn't going to get to that well, I'm surprising to see Ljungberg topping up there in the inside left channel so important that Kirby's back four are aware of his movement because when the play is on the left hand side he'll come in and join up. Arsenal have one on seven of their last ten visits to Charlton. But they did suffer a New Year's Day defeat here in 2001. Charlton hoping history repeats itself in 2005. And Percy in a hurry. Well, the cross came. Well, Quick throw from Van Percy for Henri. He's got past Kishishev and Fabregas coming in. Credit to Romadal who stuck with him. Also oh, a big play and see. Terrific awareness from Romadal. Otherwise Arsenal looked odds on to score. Van Persie. Henri. For Hoyt. Now Vieira. Torre. Going back to Armenia. Pelo Torre with a delightful ball for Thierry Henri. And Kylie is able to keep hold of it. Well, just got on the inside of Luke Young there. Only who plays between centre and outside left. Young a bit slow to react there. The first touch did only no favours at all. It's slightly behind him. It's Jerome Thomas against his former club. Now Luke Young. Danny Murphy had advanced. She just couldn't connect. That's a good run, he runs off Fabregas there. I don't think he's going to score from that angle, but had he managed to get a back across goal, Arsenal might have been in trouble. Fabregas just caught on his heels there as Danny Murphy ran forward. It's a foul by El Kalkori. Mark Halston was just waiting to see if uh, Cliche was going to latch onto it and bring an advantage to the Gunners. Fabregas, Clichy. Fabregas is waiting edge of area and Clichy has picked him out. He was soon crowded out. Vieira though for Van Persie. Well, Hoyt checked his run. I think it's the right ball. Maybe slightly overhead, but I think if Hoyt continues his run there, he might have been in. Decent build up as usual from Arsenal. There's nothing on, they just check out. Come back across the pitch until an opening appears. Levin Day was a very decent goalkeeper in his time. Mainly with West Ham. Working now with uh, Alan Kerbisley here at Charlton. So he has been for a while. I've only conceded one goal in their last five games. They're not here to be rolled over by Arsenal. They have been rolled over by them in the past, including earlier this season. 4-0 at Highbury. Hoping for a closer contest this time, but Polo Torre with a surge. Jerome Thomas, who hasn't really got into the game yet, and who left Arsenal last summer. Didn't really get much of a look in as far as the first team is concerned and he will be so eager to impress today good protection here at Vieira offers Hoyt here determined that uh, the fullback wasn't going to be left exposed to Thomas
Newcastle a long way out and El Karkori gives it to Thomas. Oh, it's just eluded Murphy. Romadal hits it and Fortune was onside and unable to steer it in. Well, it all came from the ball forward to Thomas. Point had just switched off. He's got all the time in the world here to receive. He's got a time to get his head up. And then eventually he comes back in. Plenty of pace on it. Fortune just trying to redirect it. Can't quite find the target. Torre, offside flag, rather a late one against Robin van Persen. It has been a bit stop-start this match. So he hasn't found a rhythm yet. Charlton won't be too bothered about that. You don't want to be up against Arsenal when they do find their rhythm. Kisha Chef. Young. Straight down the middle from Dean Kiley. Bartlett making a bold attempt to get to it. Now Holland. Bartlett trying to sneak in, but Almunia comes out. A terrific play from the striker, won the first ball so cleanly, continued his run. Fortunately, the ball was overhit. But he's won a share, Bartlett, against Julian Campbell. Cole. Jungberg lost out. Campbell. Deflection actually aided Van Persie and Vieira now arrives on the scene and Jungberg, he scores. Freddy Jungberg, the football has hardly flown from Arsenal today, but they have the lead in this New Year derby. That's always a danger in with the quality Arsenal have. Got to say, I think Charlton might have defended a little bit better. I'm sure Alan Curviously feels that. Vera doesn't have an angle to get a shot over here. He checks out of it. The ball in is slightly behind Newburn. And Charlton just don't get to him quickly enough. Don't quite squeeze him tightly enough here. And he has the room to spin and get the shot away. Dean Kiley without a hope left, totally exposed there. But Charlton had goodly numbers goal side here. And I'm sure Alan Curviously will feel he should have put more pressure on Newburn. For the Bloomberg's seventh goal of the season, and six of them have been away from home. Bloomberg missed a couple of games recently with uh, severe migraines. He's now given Charlton a headache, and Dean Carley has to ensure that goes out. But it was a close one with Henri. but got a lot of time there to spin, nobody getting a tackle in, three red jerseys around him. I think even he might have been surprised at the, the time and the space he was allowed. Cole. with a lead to protect. Push from Van Persie on Keisha Schiff. Charlton now look for a quick response to that goal from Nürnberg, which came ten minutes before half-time. Karkori in towards Horizon, but it's Patrick Vieira who's marking him. Charlton's throw. <laughs> T. 
Thierry Henry. Matt Holland able to take it back comfortably. Now for Ryderson. Young. And he's kept going. And it's come to Danny Murphy. And it's actually come off Danny Murphy as Fabregas cleared it, so it will be an Arsenal throw. effective in this first half but the main thing is they have the lead anyway Freddie Grimber given the time and the space to open the scoring and Percy he's been caught by Kishishev well, he reckons he took some of the ball I think he might have a Casey it's a job he does ever so well the Bulgarian just sitting in front there and allows Holland and Murphy to get themselves forward without worrying too much about what they're leaving behind. And towards Henri, who took a kick from Alcal Cordic. Six minutes to go in the first half at the valley. It's a wet and windy valley. Another murky start weather-wise to the new year. In the English capital. Henri. Well, he can't do that from there. Not that time. He did it before. Vera here catching Danny must be a real sore one. Happy New Year. Kishishev takes over. Now Bartlett. Wrong option. And Vieira able to find Henri. We're inside the last five minutes of the first half. It's El Kakori looking to inspire Charlton. And he has done just that. Young now. Romadal's cross. Fair height on that from Almunia and distance. Goalkeeper did well. It's a lovely ball in from Romadal. Loads of pace on it. That'll be one that you could try and catch. Side against Jerome Thomas. It hasn't quite happened to him against his former club yet. which would be hugely disappointed with the way the goal was conceded, the room that uh, Lundberg had to manoeuvre in, because Arsenal haven't troubled his team too much, really, in this first half. Cole, away by Fortune. Here's Lundberg. Justin Hoyt, Henri handball, apparently not. <laughs> that was a derision from the home fans. Mr. Halsey, well placed to call it. I wonder if Henri got the arm down, came off his shoulder perhaps. As it comes in, left arm certainly goes up, does it come down? Almost the armpit. The free getting a fair bit of stick from the uh, chart and faithful. Home side have a free kick though. El Kakori for Horidison. Now Jerome Thomas. Oh, and it was Saul Campbell who actually brought the best out of his keeper. Well, it's an awkward one for Saul Campbell because Toure misses it here. Campbell has to react very quickly. There is so much pace, it's low, it's a very awkward one to take. This 
Niger. And to sidestep the referee. A couple of minutes to go in the first half. This is the ball that came in here. I'm sure that Campbell thought Turi was going to deal with that. That's why he had to react so late. Vieira. Bartlett's going to challenge this, but it's away by Colo Torre, only to Murphy, though. And he was caught late, Danny Murphy, the referee had a, <laughs> a very long think about that one. Terry Henry not amused, he was away in the inside left channel on his own. Well, Mark Hulsey changed his mind on that one, as he famously did on the full-on penalty against Arsenal earlier in the season. It's a chance to work the goalkeeper, it must be 35 yards out, but certainly within range. We're inside the last minute of normal time, there's going to be one minute added on. Still sorting out their wall. Almunia edging them over. It's El Karkori! It is special! It is very special! It is very, very, very special! El Karkori! What a way to start the new year! Ah, he's got no right to score for Mary. That's an awesome effort. Arsenal don't do a lot wrong. Two come out to charge. Almunia is looking after that side of the goal, but he's beaten by the sheer pace, power and accuracy. That's a wonderful strike. It's moving away from Almunia. What a spectacular way for Charlton to finish this half. I think it actually goes through Ashley Cole's legs as it leaves his right foot. Talal El Karkori has now scored in the last three games here at the Valley and that was a stunner. We're in added on time in the first half and Charlton hauling themselves level in considerable style. stunned by that glorious goal Almunia beaten from range the Charlton fans have certainly forgotten any hangover they might have had now that goal has blown the hangovers away Talal El Karkori had the power and the glory on the stroke of half time to cancel out Freddie Jungberg's opener for Arsenal. But El Karkori, certainly been amongst the goals here at the Valley lately, produced an absolute cracker from range. And at half time at the Valley, it's Charlton 1, it's Arsenal 1. Arsenal start the second half, they know they have to keep winning to keep up with Chelsea, who got a late winner themselves at Liverpool earlier, thus putting the pressure on Arsenal to claim the victory here. They get taken in the wrong place. Arsenal ahead in 35 minutes through Freddie Jungberg, Charlton level on 45 minutes with a scorcher from El Karkori. The 
Radisson. Fending off Jungberg. Hoyt's throw, Van Persie. Here's Henri, back to goal at the moment. It's not to say that he'll stay that way. Here's Ashley Cole. Luke Young wants to play for Tottenham, played in a few North London derbies against Arsenal. Fabregas. Murphy stepping in. I think Kayla didn't want to take in his right side, did he? So left footed. More urgency about Arsenal, hardly surprising. Pretty low key first half from Arsene Wenger's side. Yes, they haven't been at their incisive best yet. would have learnt of the uh, result at Anfield just before stepping out here at the Valley. Cole gets another throw off Murphy. Vieira. Torre. Justin Hoyt playing today because of Loren has a knee injury. Van Persie now. Here's Fabregas. Oh, here's Ljungberg. What a move! And what a goal! Freddie Ljungberg scores again. And that had Arsenal stamped all over it. They are back in front. That's oh, just a wonderful piece of football. This is anything but an easy finish here. El Kakuri doesn't get across to him. Well, Dean Kelly will feel that maybe get his angles wrong there. He shows him an awful big target across his body, but it's a wonderful finish. Nevertheless, from Newburn. Build up play is terrific. Fabregas bombing forward for one of the rare times in the match. He goes beyond the ball. El Kakuri doesn't get tight enough. And boy, did Newburn make the home side pay. That is a terrific finish. Chef. Yeah. Wow. Oh. back in that central area today. Here in Fabregas have had the work cut out. Ran down in that area, but sort of back in the driving seat now. With El Carcori fancies it again. Long way out. Sizing up the range though. Here he comes, he does try again, and the deflection worried on Munia for a moment. Once in a game maybe. I should be asking a lot for El Kakori. Kishishev though. Making himself busy. Oh but hang on, here goes Thierry Henry. Just so too much of that to El Kakori. It's one back by Dan Percy, but I'm fairly so on Kishish here, free kick charter. Pretty hectic down there now, not getting any time with the ball at all. This was Lundberg getting his reward, it was Fabregas who went beyond the ball first of all, Lundberg continued his run, a time to look up. I just wonder if Dean Kyle is too far towards that left-hand post, but it was a terrific finish nevertheless. Desperate free kick from El Kharkori. Sent back by Kishishev though. Bartlett is going to be penalised for a high boot. Well, Freddie Dunberg unwell recently with severe headaches. But he continues his remarkable record.
Liverpool are scoring away from Highbury, eight goals this season, seven of them on his travels. Vieira. Corey chasing this with Henri. wait a bit, he gives Ashley Cole the run around though and Arsenal hang on in there, Jerome Thomas over to steer his head back where it might have hurt and now Luke Young loses out to Sol Campbell just a little bit too high for Thomas the ball in from Romadal, when he did look up initially Romadal, there was no support in the box, that's why he had to check out this is the free kick that was given Sol Campbell gets the benefit of the the decision here on the edge of the box. A fiery start to the second half. Which is almost 10 minutes old. And Robidal held back there by Ashley Cole. This could be a card. It is. Ashley Cole is going to be booked. I think he knew initially. He was wrong side there, Ashley Cole. Romadal hasn't really asked the question, given his pace, he hasn't really asked the question of Ashley Cole. One of the few times in the match that Cole ends up wrong side here, Romadal would have been on his way. It's a cynical challenge from Ashley Cole. Well, he missed the Fulham game on Boxing Day through suspension. He's been booked in both games since then at Newcastle and now here at Charlton. For whom opportunity knocks here? Potentially a big moment in the match. Charlton look to equalise again. Murphy's delivery. Away by Torre. Romadal. Second chance. Murphy. A Ryderson. Frantic. And a free kick. As Murphy is novel. Charlton really turning the screw now. Terrific defensive header from Turi as the free kick from Murphy came in there. Under pressure from Horizon. Matt Holland wants to take it quick to Murphy. Now Thomas. Vieira trying to close him down. It's in by Kishishev. Offside flag has gone up against Bartlett. Well, he's in a terrific position otherwise. Delightfully weighted ball there over the top. Took Saul Campbell out of the game. As it's played, well, it's very tight. Bartlett in a terrific position there to go and attack that. Well, Kalkori's header went to Van Persie, who uh, was then taken out, it's a free kick in a very useful position for Arsenal. Well, I think El is trying to win this, he's just beaten here by the quick feet of Van Persie. It's a challenge that he has to go and make in the edge of the box. And he's just beaten by the quick feet of Van Persie and it's a free kick in a very useful position here. I'm surprised if anyone but Thierry Henry gets near this. Well, there'll be a slight today before he does get near it because uh, Van Persie needs treatment. Kevin Kirbishley and Robin Day passing on the instructions. I think uh, they're going to make a double change in a minute, Charlton. Could see Jason Newell coming on, certainly. The uh, rain is getting heavier and heavier in the southeast of London, swirling in the wind. Well, El Karkori has uh, already banged in a 
ferocious free kick at that end in this game. Thierry Henry is the man now standing focused. And he usually is quite focused. It's Henry, and it's off the line by Bartlett. That's a good decision to put Sean Bartlett on the goal line there. Allowed Dean Kyler to look after the other side of the goal. Good thinking, good planning by Alan Kirkusley. Looking one for Cole. Piera <laughs> yeah, uh, making sure that no one else is going to win that apart from him. Fortune trying to turn it away, but he nearly set up Van Persie. And Arsenal are gifted a goal. They are 3 1 up. And they are keeping Chelsea in sight. Well, the minute they allow this to bounce in, they're in trouble here. No one goes to attack this. And the minute it hits the ground, it's an awkward one to deal with. Poor clearance across Van Persie's body. And once again, it's a top draw finish. Certainly wouldn't blame Dean Kiley there. Back across him, just inside his far post. It all came from Charlton's inability to deal with the, the back to front ball. His only other Premiership goal came very, very late against Southampton and Highbury to save a point. That one's come a lot earlier, and it should ensure three points for Arsenal today. <laughs> Percy, Thierry Henry, get to get on the score sheet. But don't rule him out just yet. And the free kick's been given against him here, mind you. A handful there of Arthur Curry's jersey. Here's Romadon. Here's Murphy. Going to Jason Newell. Arsenal looking to break out with Fabregas. Now they're getting into their stride. They've got a bit more space to hit as well. Charlton committing bodies forward. As you said, the holding midfield player now replaced by Ewell, who the match has been told to go and get closer to Bartlett. He's been up there on his own for most of this game. Bloomberg is on a hat trick. can do is keep winning. I hope that uh, somewhere along the line, Jose Mourinho and Chelsea have uh, much talked about blip. Vieira. Clichy. Cole. Clichy. Arsenal in the mood again. It's Ashley Cole. He's going to get a corner off Luke Yeah. That's what happens to the corner. Ashley could have played that in and he had Luke but popping into the back post area. But at this stage in the game, quite happy to take the corner instead. Knows the clock is ticking down. Knows the job is just about done now. delivers Campbell good chance he's hurting himself actually he's going down they're not able to win this is coming on to it so Campbell so Iverson who could there's just enough pressure on him he's up early he's up well Bird looking for a drink. He's moving the ball, hardly one of the details could come for us. Look favourite. Must have trusted something a 
like it. In the way that he uh, fell was certainly awkward. Touch his ankle, but uh, he's back on his feet. The commanding figure at the other end of the field normally. So Campbell. His ankle did to collapse as he landed there. Chesky's struggling at the moment. So Campbell off the field. So a chance for Charlton. Murphy whipping it in, but uh, Colo Torre won it. And Armenia takes it. And they didn't need Campbell after all. Really underneath it, but he still managed to get something on it. And both he and Campbell have been terrific today. But plenty to deal with. Campbell's back on. Here's Clichy. Pires now for Vieira. Campbell. First time from Hoyt to Ljungberg, but it doesn't fool Horizon. Now Johansson. And Chesky taking over. Blasted away by Torre. I think they might take Sol Campbell off here. And uh, they'll be concerned if that turns out to be serious, because he's such a key player for them. It's going to be replaced by Philippe Senderos, the Swiss under-21 international, who is actually going to make his... Premiership debut. Played in the Carling Cup this season. His first taste of the Premiership. And Pastor will be hoping that uh, injury to Campbell turns out to be not too serious. Franceschi. Radisson. Bounced off Patrick Vieira. Going to be a jump throw. And the Kirby Lee's Charlton have left it a little late now. A couple of minutes of normal time remaining. We hear there's going to be three added on. If they are going to uh, claim something from this game in an unlikely way, we're going to have to get a goal right now. Pennant. Should be Almunia's. earlier Terry on we up there on his own now Pires playing off him a minute of normal time remaining El Corcori's free kick easily away by Vieira have Arsenal got another goal left in them. Scored four against Charlton earlier in the season at Highbury. Do they fancy repeating that feat? Cole. Clichy. Fabregas. They're just going to keep the ball. Spraying a few passes around here. Into 
work on their passing a bit. I think Arsene Wenger will be well pleased to get out of here with all three points, even more so after the, the win at Newcastle. I don't think they're quite up to the speed of earlier on this season, but on paper this was a very tricky game this afternoon. They're both playing at the very top of the game. Looks like they're going to leave with all three. fans spot of juggling from Thierry Henry Arsenal just seeing this one out just a couple of minutes of added on time remaining Johansson Kopchewski Kakori Romadal hits the throat of Cole. Here's Murphy, he's lost out to Fabregas. Right, Thierry Henry. Pires in the box, Pennant making strides. Henry. Well, he usually scores against Charlton, but it looks like uh, for once, not going to do that. He scored more goals against Charlton than any other Premiership team. They've kept him reasonably quiet today will be little consolation to Charlton. But in truth, this is a fixture they probably didn't expect to get much out of. It's a bit like that when you play the top two at the moment. A matter of seconds remaining. Madison's long throw. The kick, and if there's time to take it, this will surely be the last action in the game. Surely the last business of this New Year's Day fixture. Murphy swings it in. And Thierry Henry releases Pires. Well, maybe there's time for another goal. Chesky, though, tracking back. Although he still uh, gave Pires some encouragement. I got a little bit lucky, but uh, terrific cover that uh, he offered uh, Luke Young initially. There were only supposed to be three minutes added on, but we've now had four. That's that. The pressure was on Arsenal's Arsenal after Chelsea's win at Anfield earlier. But he and they do like a bit of pressure. They cope with it admirably. All they can do is keep winning. I hope that Chelsea slip up, that's what they are doing right now, it finishes at the Valley, Charlton 1, Arsenal 3. Alan, you feel hard done by today? I feel a little bit mad, to be fair, you know, we've been beat 3-1 by Arsenal and, um, you know, I take it on the chin when we get beat, but, you know, I don't think we deserve that today and uh, up until the second goal, I thought we was the better side, I thought we was uh, in it. <laughs> 
certainly the first half and we come in after scoring a great goal and um, you know, all to play for in the second half and uh, I think we've been done by a, a linesman's decision or this passive offside uh, rule that we have to, to bear and uh, it's not the first time Arsenal have done it to us. You're referring to Freddie Lundberg's second goal? Yeah, uh, I was sitting upstairs and um, I'm clear that as, as the ball was played forward, Van Persie and Omri were both offside. Linesman hasn't given it. Uh, John Fortune uh, knows they're behind him and he's, he's appealing. And um, perhaps he should have cleared it, but Van Persie's come back onside, retrieved the ball and played Lundberg through and he scored. And, you know, that's the 48th minute. And, uh, you know, you've got a bit to do then. And I think the way we played today, um, we didn't deserve to get beat 3 1. So Campbell hobbled off, how is he? Not too good. And uh, I've, I think it will be a serious start for Tuesday night. He seems to have fought fall, fall awkwardly on his ankle. Yes, uh, it was close to score on, on this uh, in that occasion, but uh, his reception was not good and his ankle has turned. So usually that's a two to three weeks job. Chelsea won again. You won again. That's all you can do, I guess, at the moment. Exactly. No, we we are too far from the end to look at the results of the others. You know, uh, we go step by step, and uh, we get as many points as we can. Uh, can and uh, if we get uh, in the last seven eight games in that position. Then I start to look at the results of uh, the other teams. But at the moment, no, we want to be consistent again. And we are in a good way, I must say, because we have a very young team and uh, we play very well. So Arsenal continue to chase Chelsea and extend their unbeaten run in London derbies to 32 in the process. After the break, here on Football First, we'll get the thoughts of John Gregory on today's big moments, including why these penalties weren't given at Anfield and at the Reebok. The penalty that was taken three times at Fratton Park. And there's the usual winners and losers. I'll be for them 